Gun Meme Review. What is up, you sexy YouTube mother lovers? Welcome back to another episode of Gun Meme Review. I'm your host, Brandon Herrera, and I need a fucking haircut. On tonight's program, we've got memes about Ukraine, memes about Scott and Demo Ranch, and more gun meme goodness. But first, let's delve into a couple of the memes that have come out this week about the war in Ukraine. Or excuse me, uh, military operation in Ukraine. Like Zoig Scoob, this doesn't feel like a military exercise. Now's not the time to split up and look for clues. Let's load up in the mystery APC. I know it's tracked in this picture, but it reminds me of that thing that looked like the fucking mystery machine that they were deploying in Ukraine. Although with as many javelins and anti-armor stuff they've got floating around in that country right now, you could not pay me to be mechanized cavalry right now. Anything with that Z on it is like a missile magnet. I'm good. If I'm in that 40 mile convoy headed to Kiev, I'm the guy who's always taken a leak in the woods about 40 yards away from all the vehicles. Things are getting so bad, troops are deploying somewhat unconventional methods of vehicle protection. Leaked, Cope Cage V2. Pros, lighter. Morale boost, can bounce on. Cons, still doesn't work. Now, of course, like we've mentioned before, this is definitely an all hands on deck situation for Ukraine, which isn't just limited to the Ukrainian military and the civilians that they've armed. They're also taking in foreign volunteer fighters from all around the world. The only problem with that is sometimes that can get a little awkward. Retired US Marines joining the Ukrainian Foreign Legion. Veteran Taliban also joining the Ukrainian Foreign Legion. The enemy of my enemy is still probably a little sour. What's worse is that you could probably take this one a little deeper too if you want to. Retired US Marines joining the Ukrainian Foreign Legion. Veteran Taliban also joining the Ukrainian Foreign Legion. Seeing the equipment that they left behind in Afghanistan. <laughs> All of a sudden it seems like those extra helicopters and rockets could have come in handy. I mean, at least in this case, they'd be putting it to use against somebody who isn't us. Well, at least the ones that the Taliban hasn't crashed yet. Never ask a woman her age, a man his salary, or a Ukrainian soldier what that weird patch means. Yeah, the Azov Battalion kind of overdoses on, on based a little bit. It's like Special Forces 4chan edition. You don't ask a woman her age, a man his salary, a Ukrainian soldier what that weird patch means, or a German company uh, what they were doing between the years 1939 and 1945. Pretty sure Hugo Boss leaves that bit out of the About Us section on the website. Now, if you saw my last video about some of the weird guns that are popping up in the Ukrainian conflict, you'd recognize this gentleman. I mentioned all we need is an Alton helmet for him, and he's little Tachanka. So that kind of got me thinking, so I fired up Photoshop, and, you know, this is one of the first gun meme review submissions by me. Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you, little Tachanka. Do with that format as you wish. So, before we move on from all the Russia Ukraine stuff, we gotta do it to you. Marty Robbins meme. Shit poster ballads and other associated pro-Ukraine propaganda. Marty Robbins, Big and Law, The Cope Cage, The Bayerek Tar Menace, 160 Dead Russian Tanks, Saint Javelin, Where Is My Goddamn Fuel, VDV Got Ratioed, VDV Got Ratioed Part 2, Little Green Men, Kiev, Not Kiev, No Air Superiority, VDV Got Ratioed Part 3, Babe, Wake Up, The Ukrainian Farmers Stole Another Russian Tank, It's Not Gay to Simp for Zelensky, Copium snorting tanky. Seriously though, who the fuck planned those VDV missions? Now if you want to see a video breaking down and firing a real javelin, go ahead and subscribe. I mean, I'm probably not ever gonna be able to do that, but you should subscribe anyway. Okay, maybe javelin's a little far out of reach, those things are like a quarter million dollars a piece, but we might be able to get our hands on an RPG. Not like my RPG, like, uh, like, like get some rockets for an RPG. I think that'd be fun. You never know, you could miss out. So let's move on from Ukraine and on to some other gun memes. This one from Garantham. I strive to live my life with the same energy as Muldoon. That guy was the fucking OG. And if you're too young to remember who this is, he was from the good Jurassic Park. And I've also seen Garantham posting a lot more Spaz 12 content. Gee, I wonder what video he could be coming out with soon. I'm honestly just impressed he could get his hands on a Spaz 12. They really never brought that many into the country, so they are super expensive, super rare, very sought after. I'm honestly surprised he was able to uh, get his hands on one. Just remember kids, flexing is not a right. It's an obligation. But speaking of kind of weird guns, LAS Concealment has finally dropped the Makarov holster that we've been waiting for. And they kind of memed on me in the process. Behold, the custom Brandon Herrera print Makarov holster. They also make them for Glocks and other things, but come on, you, you, you want to carry a Makarov with this thing, right? I love they include the AKs, the AK Jesus photo, uh, the Man Mosas, of course. They also include the 
that included the photo of my stolen motorcycle. Gone, but not forgotten. But I'm just glad to see this finally come to fruition. So if you want to check it out, we'll leave the links down in the description and in the pinned comment where you could check out how to get one for yourself. So now we have a couple memes of my boys, Kentucky Ballistics and Demolition Ranch. This format has been pretty great. Me, I'm gonna hit the gym and start eating healthier. Also me, all you can eat barbecue. <laughs> Thankfully my wrist is starting to heal. I can finally like actually do regular shit again. Get your head out of the gutter. So I'm thinking here in the next couple weeks, we're gonna go ahead and do that fitness challenge. Gonna turn you fuckers into the sexy YouTube mother lovers you know you can be. Should also probably curb my drinking a little bit. But uh, until I'm fully healed, <laughs> bottoms up. And yes, Red Solo Cup. I, I know, I live in a house. I'm moving. It it's a long story. It's a short story. I want to get the fuck out of the city. Further out in the country and closer to my friends like, oh yeah, Demo Ranch. Brandon, bringing guests onto GMR. Matt. Well, I, I, come on, I did film some collab stuff with Matt and Scott like two weeks ago or something like that, which still more of that's coming out. Matt, if you're watching this, you were welcome on Gun Meme Review anytime. Well, yeah, that's right, I, f I forgot. We snapped Scott in for his Gun Meme Review appearance. Well, it's time to get Demolition Ranch on Gun Meme Review. Oh, that's right, it doesn't work. Uh, Matt's rich. Ah, oh, well, it was worth a shot. Me starting to turn my life around in 2022. World War III. Is that a Drewski cameo I spot? Well, the good news is you can still focus on the stuff that you can control. There's a chance the world might be ending, but until it does, we will continue to act as if it intends to spin on. And yes, I just paraphrased Nick Fury. Get over it. My drill press and brand new rifle. Me and my boxers and nods strung out on Booker's sugar. Rookie cop, my parole officer, ATF, FBI, DEA. You guys are fucked up, man. This is why Scott's wife doesn't let him hang out with us. Where'd you get all these parts kits? Isn't there an import ban? Point number one, mind your own business. It's kind of like those dudes on Instagram flexing their kit and uh, some of that stuff has never been sold to civilians before, meaning the only way to get it was that it fell off a truck. None of my fucking business, like I said. Seriously, Fort Bragg military surplus stores? Fucking wild, man. Do you think any of us will look back in our lives and regret the things we didn't buy? Me, thinking about 2019 ammo prices. Oh yeah, remember a time when three cases of 9mm wasn't a, a mortgage payment? I feel like I'm just becoming one of those old, you know, gun show boomers. I remember when those AKs were $200 and you couldn't give them away. Come on, this isn't back in the day, Grandpa. Although I'm, I'm jealous that you got to live through that. Unicorn guns and priceless parts. Brandon, five milliseconds later. DeLance, Brandon's FBI agent, the ATF. Yeah, yeah, I've probably fumbled and dropped, or, you know, moderately dropped, uh, priceless weapons and weapon parts more times than I can shake a stick at. I'm surprised somebody hasn't made a compilation yet. Put that over here. So you can see, I get, didn't have to hand fit. Me, trying to find a place to heal. Some kitted out USEC guy. This happens to me so fucking much. You'd think as much as I play Tarkov that I'd be better at it, but uh, you would be wrong. And speaking of Tarkov, I'm probably gonna be playing that on Twitch a lot more uh, in the next few days. So I'm gonna be trying that out, maybe even after this video goes live, who knows? So if you wanna follow me on Twitch, you can go ahead and check that out. I will leave the link in the description and the pinned comment. Come hang out whenever I decide to do that. Gun control fan, average automatic weapon enjoyer. No civilian should have a semi-automatic AR-15. I agree with you. I think they should all be select fire. What do you think is going to happen to require all those guns and ammo? It does not matter what it is. I will be ready. You know, as crazy as the world's been getting, I have been looking into that a lot. Like some of the prepping stuff. I realize, you know, nobody thinks about preparing for shit until shit actually happens, which is, again, what just, what just fucking happened. We had a little bit of a scare like this because of the coof, but now like we're getting it again where it's like, okay, well shit, what happens if an EMP pops off? Are we just completely fucked? So I don't know, I've been giving it a lot more thought, you know, kind of just being generally prepared for whatever happens. Well, I mean, having more guns and ammo than a third world militia is a pretty good start, but things like long-term food storage, water filtration, you know, Faraday cage bags, things like that, you know, stuff that I, I never really gave a whole lot of thought to. So I've started getting to the prepping thing a little bit. I don't know, I just think it's a good idea, just especially like even the freeze in Texas last year when I moved. 
It wasn't some big apocalypse or anything, but I was without food, without power. It's just, shit can break down so fucking easily, and it doesn't have to be some world-ending thing to do it. So I think it's a good idea to be prepared. I actually think it might be a cool B channel video if you guys are interested. Kind of looking into my prepping setup, I guess, a little bit, and like critiquing, you know, seeing what I have, you know, what's good, what's bad, uh, what I need, like the, the gaps in, in what I have, I suppose. I don't know, I think it might be fun. Let me know in the comments what you think. Or if you think that I've lost my fucking mind. Anyhow, I think that just about wraps up this episode of Gun Meme Review. Make sure you like, subscribe, and leave a comment. It's kind of weird, but it does help with the algorithm, so I'd appreciate you guys' help. Got some awesome videos I'm really excited to show you guys, too. Uh, possibly Darwin Awards, and maybe even, finally, the St. Petersburg Typewriter, a.k.a. the Kami Tommy. You guys have been begging for that forever. You better click on that fucking video. Anyways, guys, I appreciate your support, and thank you for watching to the end. And as always, I'll see you sexy YouTube mother lovers in the next video. Thanks. My obsession to make the perfect weapon like us put his eyes to the top. But I can't let you can stop, 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 Oh, cool. It's the Russians. Well, Red Dawn time. Which isn't just limited to the Ukrainian military or their. Which isn't just limited to their Ukrainian armory. Oh, fuck. Now, if you watch my last video about weird guns we're seeing pop up and you... Now, if you watch my last video on guns... I can't fucking talk today.